Have you had an expander? Is it time for you to get it out? I'm ready. Let's check it out. Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, I'm in the clinic. Today's episode is for all of you viewers out there that have had an expander or have an expander in and are ready to get it out. For me. I have a wonderful friend that is gonna share this experience with you. Hello, what's your name? Ella. Ella has been in an expander for how long now? Uh, like four months four months four or five months okay yeah so we've been in an expander for a while I'm gonna show you why we got an expander we had a little bit of a crossbite and we've been in it for now for about four months some providers will keep you in longer depending on what they're trying to accomplish uh, the idea though is that you keep it in so that all of the expansion that you got right you're creating space tries to hold or the bone and the teeth can remodel. Uh, and so it's not necessarily a good idea to get it in and then out too fast because it could just go back. So we're actually gonna get this expander out and then we're gonna try and hold some of the expansion with a retainer. What was it like to have an expander? It was different than I was thinking it was gonna be. It um, didn't really hurt, it just felt very weird at first. And then once you get used to it, you, um, We'll just get used to it and you won't um, like mind it as much as when you just get it in. How about that? Okay, so what about, how is it like to eat? Um, at first when you eat, it's kind of hard to, but once you um, get used to it, it's a lot easier and um, it's a lot easier to eat when you first get it in. It was not like how you imagined it. What did you imagine it? Was it, was it going to be a wonderful thing? I thought it was going to be, um, I thought it was going to feel like, um, just like normal and stuff, but it was not at all. <laughs> yes, not very many people are born with expanders in their mouth. In fact, I don't think anybody is. So it's probably going to feel a little weird, but you got used to it, yeah. right? Okay, so now, however long you're supposed to have the expander and your provider will decide, and then the day comes when you get the expander out. Now, depending on how long you've had the expander in, you may or may not, or if you had braces with the expander, you may, the provider may suggest you get a retainer. You just need to speak with your provider. So today we're gonna get it out. We're gonna show you how we do it. And we're gonna show you the changes that Ella was able to achieve with the expander. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are ready. Okay, here's Ella now. We can see, we're gonna show you what the expander looks like. Here it is. Remember all the different pieces? You can check out our other video which talks about how to get the expander in. Oh, really wide for me, Ella. You got two, right? The two little rings that go around the back teeth here and here, right? Those little metal rings. That's where we glue. And then we, in our expander, we put a little bit of extra glue on the front right here to help hold the expander down. You got two halves. You got the screw in the middle. And you can't see it here. It's really hard to see because it's so small, but I'm blowing. Oh, you can kind of see it. There is a hole right in the middle of that screw and that's what you put your key in and you turn it towards the back and that's what makes your mouth or your 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 top jaw expand and you get all the space in between your teeth. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do in our office when we're getting off expanders, if we have extra glue that's not around those little rings, these spots right here, we're gonna go ahead and use a, a high speed hand piece, kinda like when we take off braces, we're gonna use that to and buzz off that glue, all right? So it makes a really high pitched noise. Sometimes that makes people anxious. Don't freak out, all right? And there's a lot of air, so it can make your mouth a little bit cold. What in our office, what we do is we say, hey, if it starts to bother you, you just take your left hand and you raise it up. Can you show me how to do that? Boom, just like that, okay? That's all we're gonna do. When I, when I see that, that means, hey, it's time to take a break. So we're gonna show you how this is done. Let's do it! Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and buzz off some of those two pieces of glue. Here we go. Okay, see, the glue is going away. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll take the little hand piece and kind of lift it up. You can see it's lifting up. That means we got a good, we're separated now. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Okay. Okay, now we've got separation. So our next thing we're gonna use is called a band remover. It's got this little rubber piece right here, and that part sits on top of your tooth. And then this part, it's kind of like it's kind of like a tooth, it's a little claw. It grabs underneath those metal rings, and you squeeze it together just like this, and, and it pops the whole expander out. So, let's show you what that's like. All right, right on the tooth. 
and then you squeeze together. Okay, that's a little raise on that side. Open for me again. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, it's coming out. Just a couple squeezes. <coughs> bada bing, bada boom. Hoo hoo hoo. What do you think about that? Let's see your face, huh? You freaking out about the tongue now and the space in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us, what does it feel like? It feels like it's hard to talk and it's very like slimy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very slimy. Let's, let's just show everybody what it looks like. Okay, so we've had that expander in for a long time. Everybody's expander is a little bit different. Some people don't have those big pieces, but ours do. It's called a Haas expander. It's got those two side pieces just like this. And they push up against the gums, the, the palate. And when you've had it in for a really long time, it really compresses the tissue. So when you look at it in here, you're gonna see some red spots. You might even see some food packed around the area. And like I said, it's a little slimy. Might feel weird to talk because now your tongue has all this space where the expander was before. So here, this, this is all normal, right? This redness right here and right here, this is all normal right around the teeth. So don't freak out. The, the mouth is really good at healing itself. And so it just takes a few days, sometimes a week, and it gets back to a more normal feeling where it's not so slimy anymore. Okay, so we've made it to this point. We're gonna go ahead and check the rest of these teeth and see if there's any other blue glue that we need to remove. And then Ella gets to go and rinse out and then we're gonna do a scan. Okay, so now the expander is out. Ella has rinsed out. She feels amazing. Amazing! Right? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna show you the changes, all right? Very good. Slimy yet satisfying. I think somebody else said that. You know what that's from? from the Lion King. Slimy, yet satisfying. Oh, we didn't even ask you about turns. Oh yeah. So, I was gonna let Ella just share a little bit about her turning part of the journey. Who, who turned the expander in your family? Uh, my mom. Ooh, way to go, mom. And uh, how did that go? Um, the first couple times, um, it didn't hurt, but it was a lot of pressure. Oh, good, good. Um, if you um, get like cold stuff, like a popsicle or something, it won't hurt as bad. So you're saying that everybody who gets an expander should probably eat lots of popsicles. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> or ice cream. Or, wow. Wow. And then how did you turn it? Did you have to lie down and turn it or did you? Um, yes, yeah, so I laid, um, I laid down on the um, bed and uh, poked my head um, off of the bed and then my mom um, turned Like um, off it. the bed, like it was hanging, was hanging off the bed? Yes. Ooh, that's a good technique. So you, it was like, it was like the, or the couch off the bed. So really far back there so you can see. And? And, um. Did she ever poke you? Not really. Ooh, I mean, good. once or twice she did but not very many times. Okay, so there you have it from a first-hand experience, Ella, right, with her expander. She made it through the journey. She's happy to get it out. Mm -hmm. She's gonna frame the expander and keep it forever. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so this, this is what Ella's teeth look like before we did the expander. This is an example of a crossbite. Right here, this bottom tooth, and this bottom tooth, if you look from this view, are on the outside. We got another crossbite right there. This tooth is on the outside of the top tooth. But when you look at the other tooth right there, see? That's now on the outside. That's on the outside of the bottom tooth. Sometimes crossbites can make it so that your bite kind of shift around like this. If your bite doesn't fit like this, and you look around, that can mess with growth. And the reason why they shift around is because you're hitting somewhere, sometimes because of a crossbite in the back, and it's making the jaw shift around. So if you see your kid going like this, you know, kind of around or forward, there's a chance that the teeth are in a little bit of a weird position while they're developing and coming in, they can't bite down normal. So an expander might be good for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about your own expander experience, feel free to share below and of course, consider subscribing to the channel so that we can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth, beautiful bites, and a little bit of expansion. That's all we've got. Just a little PFO in so you know where you're going. Packard out.